So if you saw our other video about cutting up an enormous 25 pound shoulder of beef, uh, it was a shoulder clod roast, I believe. Uh, you saw we cut it into several sections. It yielded a couple of very, very nice roasts, as well as lots of scraps and trimmings for beef stew and ground meat and all those other things. Uh, I've taken one of those roasts and I let it air dry for a couple of days on a rack in the refrigerator, sort of dry aging it, and then I seasoned it up very, very well with my seasoned salt and pepper mix. Uh, and those are on the web. You can uh, either make the recipes from the recipe on the web or you can buy those if you wish. And uh, then I, after they were seasoned, I wrapped them in plastic and let them sit for a couple of days so the seasoning would sort of permeate. We're gonna make a pot roast out of this particular chuck roast piece. So we're gonna unwrap them from the plastic and the first thing we need to do is brown them up. We're gonna do the pot roast in the crock pot. Wow, look at that, that is gorgeous just to look at already. Uh, it's fully seasoned. We've got uh, the crock pot preheating and we're gonna brown this little guy on all sides on the stove in a huge skillet and then into the crock pot with lots of other junk. And into the pan he goes. That's what you want to hear. While he's browning on all sides, we can cut up a little bit of vegetables for the pot roast. So just for flavor and to make the sauce really nice, we'll take a couple of, maybe three carrots. And as you know, cut the ends off, but keep those ends for soup stock. Okay, just in fairly large chunks because we're going to really just puree these down later to make for a nice sauce, gravy. And these onions are fairly small, so I'm going to use two of them. Again, keep the ends and the trimmings for soup or stock. And as you've seen before, we're not all that methodical about how we peel these because we know we're keeping that outer layer, again, to use for stock. So you don't have to spend an hour digging and trying to get off just the brown paper part. Take off the whole outer ring. It's not a problem because you're going to use it. Nothing's going to waste. And just cut those roughly, I don't know, each half into four pieces. I think a little celery would be nice. Just boom, just like that. This root end can go into stock. Makes very, very nice flavor. And into the pot roast, we're also going to put a few potatoes, but we're going to do those closer to the end of cooking because we don't want those to get mushy and overcook. Let's go see how the thing is browning. Look at that. That's gorgeous. So brown them on all sides. So you're going to have four sides, two, three minutes a side. All right, we've got some pretty good color here. So I'm going to put him into the crock pot. And the pan, I'm going to deglaze. In other words, take those nice brown bits off the bottom of the pan with some beef stock that I have. I made this myself. There's no salt in it. If you use beef stock from the store, make sure you get the low sodium kind. Scraping the bottom of the pan to get all the nice brown stuff off the bottom of the pan. And once this comes to a ripping boil, we can put it into the crock pot too. While we're waiting for that to come to the boil, now we can put the vegetables in. Let's scatter the carrots around and the celery and all the onions. Not quite boiling yet. If you wanted to, you could add some red wine to the pot roast. I'm not going to do that today, but you sure could. Probably be delicious. If you were going to do the wine though, I would have put the wine in the pan first. Let that come to a raging boil. Boil off as much alcohol as you can. It's not all going to go away, but some of it will. And then add the stock. And when they were both at a boil together, then you're ready to go. So that's at a pretty good boil. That can go into the crock pot now. Directly on the meat. Just cover. Yeah, it doesn't quite cover it, but it comes pretty close. So we'll put on the cover. Leave it on high for about four or five hours. If you were doing it on low, 10 hours. You can certainly set this up the night before and then throw it on before you go to work the next day. Leave it on low for 10 hours, high for about five hours. After about three hours, we're gonna come check them, probably add the potatoes at that time. My pot roast has been in for about three hours. It's not nearly ready, but I am gonna take this opportunity to turn the pot roast over 
and put in some nice little potatoes, about eight little potatoes. Uh, they've been washed, but they haven't been peeled. I like them all in one piece. And they'll sit in the pot roast liquids for about, I don't know, maybe two or three hours and get nice and soft and cooked. And in with the potatoes. You do want to make sure they're fully submerged if, it, if at all possible. Otherwise they will not cook. And we'll let this go for another two or three hours. Well, I think our pot roast is ready now. It's been about five hours, so let's take off the lid. See if, yep, that goes in tender without any resistance. The potatoes are completely done as well. So let's take him out. Set him on a plate. Ah, smells fantastic. Now also what I'm going to do is take out the potatoes and set it around the roast and the rest of the vegetables we're going to puree into the sauce to thicken it. To thicken our sauce, we're going to use the trusty food processor. So first thing we'll do is strain out all of our nice veg vegetables and put them in the food processor. And now the liquid can go into a large pan to cook down. And while we're waiting for that to come to a boil, we can puree the veg. If it does start to shred, we have our secret weapon, which is the electric carving knife, which is very good for meats that tend to fall apart when you cut them. But let's go ahead and try the regular knife to start. Yeah, it's very tender. Now, a pot roast isn't necessarily going to be very juicy on the inside, although this still has plenty of moisture in it because it's supposed to be very, very well done, almost to the point of falling apart. Put a little gravy all over it. A great pot roast dinner with a chuck roast that we took apart ourselves and costs about $2 a pound for this stuff. Mm. Great dinner on a cold night.